a young prince chosen to take the mantle of the ages. The king in the wood, reborn. Now is the time to show who... <laughs> Greetings, true friends. We have reached a titanic triumph of everything that is just and reasonable in, in this world. Before I begin to elaborate on the topic at hand, which is the origin story, I would just like to aim a massive heartfelt thank you to everyone who has supported me over all these years. There are some guys I would like to aim a special thank you to, you know who you are, and also of course a special thank you to everyone who has been with me since the good old days. So um, yeah, and welcome to all new subscribers. Um, truly heartfelt, truly a um, an achievement I can be pleased with. Not often I feel this way, but now I actually do feel happy about my uh, performance. And uh, yeah, it couldn't be done without you, so thank you again. Now, on to the origin story. I would just like to mention something I found a bit interesting. Uh, a few months back, I have held MMA seminars, quite a few of those over the last year. And during one of these seminars, there comes up to me a, an aesthetically pleasing young man, good physique, good Thai boxing technique. And he says to me, you know what, I have an older brother and him and his friends, they know who Lats is, but they do not know who the golden one is. I found that extremely interesting in a way. So I thought to just this special occasion make a little origins story for you all. So we can start about the training aspect. I started training football as all Swedish boys do. All Swedish boys play football when we're young. So I did that from the age of about five or six until I was like 14 or something. And I was good at it. I scored a lot of goals and I can still remember the sensation of glory when uh, scoring a goal. Good times, first taste of the sensation of glory. So uh, after that I um, started training in the gym, not seriously, it was mostly about hanging out with friends, it was mostly about doing some bench press with bad form and then calling it a day. So I don't really count that into my physical journey as it were, but that's what I did during a few years at least, up until I was 16. And then as I said in a recent Games Kitchen video, my brother and I, we watched a lot of Kung Fu films and then we watched Ong Bak when I was just about to turn 16. Then when I turned 16 and the start of the semester, I decided to start Thai boxing. Then I did that for about two years, also did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu at the same club. Then I had a brief period of time where I didn't really train, which I of course regret. Then I went into the army for the mandatory 11 months during the old system. I will make a separate video on that later on. Then when I got out from the army, I started praying in the Temple of Iron. And um, yeah, I fell in love with the iron and made great gains quite rapidly as well. And that leads us up to the Latsbra days. But before beginning to talk about that, I would like to talk a bit about the... The struggle. So I got red pilled when I was about 17, something like that, and also at that time decided to commit my life to the cause. I had no idea what uh, the cause might entail at that moment, and I had no idea on what to do, but I just knew that I had to step in for, um, for my people and my country, and I'm glad I took that decision. So that has always been a guiding light for me. Even though I didn't have a set plan then, I just knew that I had to do something at least. And I will make a separate video on my red pilling process at a later time, but that was about when I started thinking about it, then it was a gradual process. But anyway, back to the iron journey, as it were. How did I become the Latsbra to begin with? Latsbra is actually a title which I gained via a democratic election, actually. I started a thread called, can I officially be the Latsbra? And I won that election, but there was a few hours of the 24 hours that the poll was active where it looked a bit shaky and I can still remember going to the gym that day being all hyped up, a bit nervous. I had a good session because I had so much nervous energy within me. But yeah, anyway, the democratic process went in my favor and I got to be the Latsbra, or I could have that title at least. 
So that was the origins of that title. Then as the YouTube game and the Instagram and Facebook and everything like that, it progressed. I wanted to encompass more of what I wanted to be, who I was, etc. And uh, I asked myself, what do I want to be? If I can be anything, if I can claim any title, if I can claim any position, who and what do I want to be? So I said, yes, the golden one. That is what I want to be. And I took it, not democratically, mind you. I took that title and decided, okay, I need to back this up. This was in late 2014. I decided which is the most epic and glorious title. I knew, of course, that a lot of guys would be, you know, these ironic guys would um, find it funny or laugh, etc. But again, no one is laughing now when I have uh, been able to back it up. So it was a um, title I claimed then. I wasn't perhaps ready for such a lofty title, but I decided to work hard to earn it at least. And uh, that's what I've done over these last few years. And I'm very happy I did so. So I didn't listen to these ironic guys for, um, you know, who, um, who only view everything as a joke. But I listened to the call for glory that um, pushes men to the height of gods. So I had plenty of motivation to do all things. Then, uh, yeah, I could back it up with my physique. I could back it up with martial skills, etc. So that was what I wanted to do. So basically, the transition from Latsbra to the Golden One was also one where I started talking a bit more about the issues facing our civilization. And, uh, of course, I knew I had to build up a a good fan base that I could take with me into the more political or philosophical um, side of things. So I kept it strictly non-political for the first about two years. And uh, yeah, it was uh, some moments where I really had to had to um, keep myself from talking about it. But then it came naturally at one stage. It was in late 2014 where I just I couldn't keep my thoughts to myself anymore and then I had, as I intended from the beginning, I had already built up a good a good amount of loyal true friends. So I uh, took that step and it was a good step to take because ultimately, you know, if, you're, if your country is being um, transformed, if your civilization is being destroyed, you have to talk about it. You cannot only talk about uh, fitness related things. Uh, so I had to make my position clear and I'm happy that I've done so. So even if I don't want to talk about these things moving forward, I'm still happy that I've done so. So everyone knows where I stand and I'm not going to back down from any of these views. So that is something I had to do. And yeah, the title of the golden one, the incorruptible one, was a more suitable title for me to have. So if anyone asks me, is this a role I play? Is this a... Uh, Moniker? No, it is not. It's a title I live. I try to live to back it up so I can claim to be the golden one. So um, yeah, that is a great motivation. It's still a great motivating factor for me. So that is basically the origins of everything. Um, I wasn't really prepared to make this video now since I thought it would be another few weeks before I actually hit the grand goal. And I will write about this in... Whenever I write my biography, I suppose, because there is some some uh, good takes and good lessons to be learned. But that was basically the um, the start of it all. And yeah, I could talk more about it, but um, I will probably do so at another time. I mainly just wanted to make a celebration video. So, what is the goal going forward? Um, I responded to Instagram yesterday and I said 1 million is the goal. Is this reasonable? Is this realistic? Yes and no. If things are as they are right now, yeah, it's quite unrealistic. But who knows, maybe there is some benevolent individual in YouTube or Google who decides to remove all obstructions to my channel. If YouTube do not interfere, if YouTube would treat this as a regular YouTube channel, I do believe that I could reach 1 million. But again, as it is right now, I don't think it is realistic. So what I will focus on is just to create quality content, try to bring as much enlightenment and positive energy and good advice to all who have subscribed. So that is the primary goal right now. And uh, if I can grow the channel more, I will definitely try to do so. And it's the same formula anyway, it's just to make good content. And then again, if anyone at YouTube sees this, 
could you please just go through my material, see I'm doing good work, I'm helping people here, I'm trying to bring people a better lifestyle, so if you could just talk it through with your colleagues, say, you know what, this guy is doing good work, you could remove all algorithms you have put in, um, in my path, it would be most appreciated indeed. And for everyone else, just uh, smash the bell button so you get a notification, I have plenty of good videos, plenty of videos better than this rambling at least. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Now I will celebrate by taking a scoop of Varelsbrygd, then hitting the gym for some deadlifts because I'm currently editing a, an absolute epic training video which will be out in a few days. So thank you for watching, XOXO, boo!